Hi everyone, welcome to the second quarter PowerPoint for uh, math. For this one, it'll be measurements. Let's begin. First, what what are measurements? Measurements is measurements is the quantification of attributes of an object or event which can be used to compare with other objects or events. And in simpler terms, it's basically how when we you want to uh, to measure something and the way we want to measure something like in the form of in the form of height, weight, or temperature, or any other measurements you can think of. For this PowerPoint, we'll be discussing those measurements. First, let's start off with non-standard units of measurements, which involve oh, as such, they don't involve all of the standard units of measurements, and we can use any anything. For example, for this tree, let's say you have this tree, and you want to measure it without using any standard unit of measure measurement. We can use things things like our hand to measure them. For example, this tree is two hands long. Next up is standard units of measurement, which is the regular, more precise way of uh, precise way of measuring things. things. When you're using when you're using standard units, make sure to use the proper device to measure them, because there are many many devices used used to measure things. For example, let's say you wanted to measure the the Eiffel Tower. You need something that can measure length. And if you were used to use the right item, you'd find out that the, the Eiffel Tower is 300 meters high. Next, let's learn the units of measurement, starting with length. Length measures the distance between one thing and another thing. Temperature measures how cold or hot an object is. And time is used to measure the period, period during which an action or process can take place. Takes place. When measuring these, use items such as a ruler for lengths, lengths which can measure in meters, meters, kilometers, inches, and feet. Temperature, you use, use a thermometer, which can de measure degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. And time, in a clock for time, to, to measure the minutes, hours, and seconds. Next up is mass, or weight if you're a science man, and which is used to measure how heavy something is. Electric current, for electric current, it's used to measure how how many many electrons pass through a certain point over time, and for brightness, it measures how much light something is emitting. When measuring these, try using candela for brightness, an ampometer for an ampimeter for for electric currents, and a weighing scale for mass. So, finally, there are actually two types of uh, units of med standard units of measurements. We have the metric unit, which is the which is the modern way e of you of measuring, measuring using using conversion, making conversion simple through the powers of ten, and English unit, which uses uses very which are the beginning which are the beginning of measurement that use very very old standards such as gallons, pins, and foots. But for metric unit, there are the units we mentioned earlier, like like meters, weight, like like length, things, mass, and an ampere for, and. Uh, and brightness, for example. Now, let's say you want to next talk about unit conversion. Unit conversion is when we want to convert change a unit to another unit. To do this, you need to multiply. You need, you need to use a method called factor label me method to convert. To convert a frac a conversion factor is needed, and the conversion factor is always is a fraction. Should I seen at the example? Whenever you uh, want to. And to would want to convert some a measurement to another measurement, you do it like this. First, put what you want to measure, measure on the left, and then multiply it to a conversion factor. In this case, you want to convert 1,500 meters to kilometers. The conversion factor you use here would be one kilometer over a thousand meters. Meters. Note the location of what goes in the denominator is very important, important because you need this to cancel out out the meter or the unit unit in what you're trying to convert and that way convert, converting it is a lot less messy once you multiply and once you uh, cancel out the units for the denominator and your problem and your question and then do regular multiplication and division isn't to find your answer now let's give this an, let's try an example shall we we convert your height of 169 centimeters to inches Inches. When doing this, wait. Hang on. Okay, here. First, we start off with our question number. We need to convert one hundred and sixty-nine. Wait. 
we need to convert 169 centimeter, centimeters centimeters into inches. Uh, sorry, hang on. Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to make this look good. Hang on. And there. Then you multiply it into your conversion factor or fraction. In this case, you use one inch inch over 2.54 centimeters meters. the centimeters get cancelled out here here this is very important because you need to have the same unit in the denominator to cancel out the one in the question then multiply to get yourself huh? wait after this you it equals 169 inches over 2.54. Now, all we have to do now is use simple division. Division. I should erase all of these so we can start, so we can have space for when we write our division problem. So, we need to divide a hey, 169 by 2.54. But we don't want to divide the number by a fraction, so we move, move the this decimal to the right two times. This creates two other zeros. So this gets, yeah, this goes goodbye. Then all we have to do is do simple division. So what's one first? First, we can't divide 169, and so we want to divide a 1,690 by 254. If you, you the divi the number that, that you can use is 6. Do the when you divide multiply six to two two hundred fifty four you get let's see me and then one thousand five hundred twenty four first or use that and subtract at one hundred one thousand six hundred ninety by it this becomes eight this six six one zero oh and then you add the zero here hey okay now for this next one we remove this and this for the next one 1066 660 hey we can use the same number number as well oh six so repeat using the same number you subtracted 1690 from and which is 1524 use it on 1660 and when you're done you should get it oh dear 1360 okay since Hey, all right, for this one, it'll be a decimal number, but we'll only need the next two digits because this decimal number is pretty long. So, what can we divide 1,360 by A from 254's times table? Well, it can't be 6 again because it's way too big. So, let's try A5. Will it work? So, if you multiply 200 and 254 by A5, you get... 1,270. It's possible. So, then all you have to do is act it here. Here, move this over here. This becomes... Oh, wait, sorry. That you won't see me there. Just moves that. That's 9. 8, 9, 0, 0. Oh, okay, and then we add another 0 here. Bring it down. We get 900. And then we just got to divide that by one more number from 254. Okay. Which is, if I'm correct, wait. Okay, so if you use three, okay, and 16, in 760, it's just enough. And since we only need the next two num digits after the decimal, this is our answer 66.53 inches. Inches. Make sure you wait. It, uh, so with that, at our answer is, is after erasing into this problem, after erasing everything, it should give you, you 66.53 inches. Inches. And so that's the answer to the first question. Now let's try the second one.
Do, 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 race, race. Okay. This one has you converting 123 kilograms. Ums. Ums. You multiply to a conversion into pounds. The conversion factor or fraction you need here is 2.2 .2 pounds. Oons. Over one kilogram. Since the kilogram is both here in the denominator and here in our question problem number, we we get re we cancel out both, multiply this to two point two, and when you do that, you should get at at okay. So multiply a one and twenty one hundred twenty three by two point two, and it should give you you if you do the the multiplication correctly. Exactly like six. Four, two, six, and two. Okay, 270.6 pounds over, oh, 270, 270.6 pounds over one. And then, oh, yeah, this, uh, this equal, when this, so when you multiply 123 by the 2.2, this should, this equals, equals 270.6, wait, gotta make sure that you can see the pounds. This equals 270.6 pound, uh, pounds over 1. And since, and we won't need to divide a 276 is 270.6 by 1 because any number divided by 1 is itself. So, this is our answer. Sir. 270.6 pounds. And with that, that's math. So, in conclusion, we learned about the different types of measurements. We learned how to convert units using conversion factors. And we learned about different measuring tools. And with that, thank you. Thank you. I hope to see you guys in my next PowerPoint. Bye!